All right. I'm going to go through this quick. I know I'm over time, but this is something you guys have to see. Um, you've got to get smart at using keyword searches in, in Google advanced searches to help you find linking opportunities. So now let's start talking about some linking. I don't know how many of you use things like site colon. So I'm using this advanced search, which is all in URL, which says for Google, show me anywhere where the words Duke and basketball are in the URL, okay? Somewhere in that keyword string or in the, in the, in the file name or something. Show me that only on sites that are a .edu. It's an advanced query. It comes back to me. Number three is a blog. If you don't want to learn all the different intricacies of the Google advanced query, all you gotta do is go out to Google, go to advanced search, and then you can say, here's the word I'm looking for. Um, do I want it to be the exact word? Do I want it to show pages that don't have this word in it? Um, then you can click this, and you can say, you know what? Only show me things that show up with this criteria in the last 24 hours, in the last X number of weeks. You can say, only show me where the keywords show up anywhere on the page in the title tag of the page. Everybody here knows or should know. The title tag is the most important thing you can change on your site to help you rank well. Typically, it's an on-page factor. So you might say, you know what? I don't just want the, cop the, the, the word to be on the page. I want to see who's got it in the title tag in the last two weeks that's on a .edu, et cetera, et cetera. And it is allowing you to do all of that. See, here's why we put in the .edu to say only search those. So if you don't learn all the different modifiers you got to put in to make this successful or to make this work for you, you can just use this on Google to help you find some great results. Look at what I found. So I found somebody's blog on Duke.edu that talks all about Duke basketball. If I am working with my ticket broker client, do I want to just go out and buy a bunch of links on random people's sites? Uh-uh. I want to find students at the top schools throw them a contest or something to see if I can figure out a way to get links from people at Duke to link to my Duke page. Got it? Good. So while some people just say, oh, you know, it's a link, I see these guys. They really like free beer. And they have no money. Think about it. Links, contest. These people have no money and love free beer. How can my ticket broker client figure out a way to create a contest or something to get these people to link over to his site, possibly with some kind of affiliate thing. Think about it. This is the difference between um, strategic smart linking. I use queries. Okay, think about it. I just use queries to help me find this. It's not like I'm doing some kind of superhero stuff. I just use advanced search queries to find this information and look at what it's bringing back for me. Here are some types of advanced queries. Look for things like you know, uh, take your keyword and then do the word companies with it along with your city. Are there lists out there of people that are talking about companies in your area, in your city? If there are and they're not linking to you, opportunity, especially if you're trying to do local search. Think about um, using wildcards like Top Star Firefox extensions. So if somebody abbreviates it FF, you're going to miss it, but it's going to catch your top 10, top 25, top 101, top 50, whatever. All these people out there are talking about it. If you build a Firefox plugin, you've just found, and then you use SEO Quick to list them, who's got the highest page rank, who's got the most inbound links, et cetera, et cetera. And you go, wow, you know what? These 50 sites that all have top something Firefox plugin are all ranking well, have great link profiles. We've got a Firefox plugin. Just write them all. Write all of them. Hey, I noticed you don't have ours on your list. Would you be willing to review it in your next so-and-so? You do that to 50 people, there's a good chance that you're actually going to get 10 or 15 of them to actually link to you and start talking about your plugin. These are simply just advanced search queries. And I did have to give a shout to, uh, to Rand Fishkin and Ann Smarty, who really have been pushing this. Um, it's not totally like my, my idea. Um, there are things that you can search for. So when I see where it says search for sites mentioning you but not linking, here's an advanced search that I gotten from Rand. I search for my name, minus link domain. This is in Yahoo. Minus link domain, our domain, minus site thinks here, because we don't want to show our own results. So what I'm saying is, who's got the words Will Reynolds on their page, that is a page that Yahoo has indexed, where they don't, minus, have a link to thinkseer.com, and it's not our own site, because we don't want results from our own site. That query will show me all the people out there talking about me who aren't linking to me. I don't know what you guys would have to say about me, but most people say pretty nice things about me. So it's really easy to say, hey, I noticed you were talking about the presentation you went to, yada, yada, yada. I hope you enjoyed the tools or anything I can help with. By the way, I noticed you're mentioning us, but you didn't link to us. Easy way to get a link with a freaking query. This is not going out there and searching for your name and click, 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 click. It takes too much time.
This is how to use a query to help you do your job better, quicker, and more efficiently. Last one is cool as all get out. So you use linked domain, not with a minus in front of it. These are all Yahoo searches. These last two are Yahoo searches. Um, you don't put a minus because the minus in front of linked domain tells you that isn't linking. You just do linked domain, your, com your first competitor, your, then you do space, linked domain, your second competitor, your third competitor. Run that search. It's telling you every, it's going to find for you any site that is talking about three of your competitors and not you. Why? That is when you see Mashable talking about the top 25x or top 5 this or Lifehacker. And you're like, wait, these guys are my competitors. You're talking about all of them. You didn't even review us. Now you're getting on someone's radar at a prominent blog to help you get high quality good links. These are the kinds of things that we're doing, and I'm sharing with you guys, because you guys know I, I share it all, um, to help you guys run queries so you can be a little bit smarter about how you go about finding links. Then you drop them into the SEO quakes of the world and whatnot, sort them all out, and then develop a strategy to go after them. Notice, this is not buying a link. This isn't buying a link from some site somewhere, you know, pay us $9.99 and we'll go get you 30 links. That crap will only work for a limited amount of time. You want something that's going to work well for the long, long, long term, so you don't have to worry about this stuff every day and can kick up and drink Mai Tais on the beach. All right, so now if we take all this together, I ran a link, a very basic one, on Google's blog search. I ran a link colon in our site, okay? I wanted to see who in Google's blog search was linking to us. I have SEO Quake running so I can sort them on the fly and see who's the big guys, right? Notice on the left-hand side, I can sort now by how many of them wrote about us in the last hour, last 12 hours, last day, etc. And then what I love, touching, is the, the, the alerts. You can now actually subscribe to the alert. So now you don't have to search for yourself all the time. You just have it tell you whenever somebody out there on a blog is talking about your domain and not linking to you. You don't just have to do this for yourself. You can do this for a competitor. You can do it for a couple of competitors. And then see if there's people out there talking about them and not reviewing your site, your product, your service, et cetera. So I've gone through all these, which is great because I know we're way over. Um, if you'll get the presentation, so I don't really need to go through the top 10 ways to get EDU links. Um, and I've got a gift for you guys. Um, I talked to Rand Fishkin at SEO Moz before I came. And here is the code, only for the people that have actually been here in this in this presentation today. And it'll get you 20% off, um, I think for like the next two weeks, for an SEO Moz Pro account. I'm not an affiliate, okay? I'm an SEO guy. There is absolutely no reason for me to tell you to use these tools other than they're some of the best tools you can use out there. A lot of the information that came from this presentation comes from conversations that I'm reading on SEO Moz, um, or things that I'm getting from those guys. And they share a lot for free, but they're the only tool that I actually kind of endorse and say, you know what, this is actually a good tool. If you're gonna spend $300-ish uh, 399 ish uh, a year, you're going to get it back by being there. Um, they've got a great competitive analysis tool. So all the free stuff I told you about, think of the value of your time. You could drop the URL in, and it'll come back and tell you what's most competitive. And I just wanted to say thank you. Um, I'm Will. This is my URL. I'm all over Twitter. You can follow me on fin FriendFeed. My Delicious account, I post everything that I find that I think is good to my Delicious account, which means you can just follow it. You can go to it right now. I added some things this morning. I usually add stuff every two to three days. I'm adding the stuff that out of the freaking 150 blogs I read, I'm adding the one or two things every day that I think are good. It'll cut down the amount of time you've got to spend reading those same blogs. Um, you can steal from me on YouTube. Go to YouTube. There I am. All this information is out there. So feel free to take it and or give me a buzz. Um, for those of you that know me, I will try to answer questions. So if you have any questions today, you want to grab me, you see me, easy. If you don't see me and you have some crazy burning question, I can actually answer it kind of quickly. Drop me a line. Drop me something on Twitter. I can't tell you when I'll get back to you because I'm traveling a lot lately. But I will not delete it, and I will eventually get back to you with an answer when I can. Um, and if you take one of my cards, any of the links that I have here, if you didn't want to write them all down, I will send them all out to you guys after, uh, after I get back to, to Philly. Go Eagles. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate it. And feel free to ask any questions. <laughs>